Applied math is beautiful and it's also powerful. It really allows us to understand many aspects of our world. Mathematics and science are like magic that works. So applied math lets you make a prediction about when the next solar eclipse is going to be or which languages will be spoken 50 years from now. I used to joke with my students that if I cannot write an equation, I don't understand the phenomenon. So to me, applied math is about discovering simple ways to explain real world problems. In our department, applied mathematics is making the first examples of mathematical models for very complex systems. And I think the systems are very diverse in our department, but that is still sort of our home territory. One of the great strengths of Northwestern is the number of people interested in complexity with applications to physics, to social science, to life science. What's unique about our applied math program is that we're sitting in the engineering school. We have collaborations with almost every school at the university, the medical school, of course, all the engineering disciplines. So it's all based on collaborations. I work in the area of active matter, which is a relatively young field. We are interested in the murmurations of starlings. How do these birds move in such a coordinated way? I'm particularly working on the micro scale, so the scale of bacteria and understanding bacteria swarming and developing micro scale autonomously moving systems. And this is something of interest to engineers who develop in swarming robots. My colleagues and I in the Center for Synthetic Biology are thinking about research across many different link scales. So we think about things all the way from the molecular scale, where you have DNA, all the way up to the societal scale. A lot of my research is mathematical description of the interactions between different molecular components. One of the main things that my group works on is trying to understand what is going on inside of stars. My main collaboration outside of the department is with Sierra, which is the Center for Interdisciplinary Exploration and Research in Astrophysics. It's a great benefit to have events and meetings with experts in astrophysics that we can pull ideas from and better understand what are some of the most interesting questions that we can use applied mathematics to study. The biologists don't want to take static pictures. They want to understand how things work. Nowadays, everybody has a computer connected to their experiments. This wealth of new data is creating all kinds of opportunities. Many of us are a part of the National Institute for Theory and Mathematics and Biology. And we want to bring mathematicians and biologists together. Applied math has a role to play in society going forward. For example, how machine learning and artificial intelligence is getting into the applied math area. We want to train someone that they can adapt to what is coming over the horizon and not what's happened 10 years or 20 years ago. We can't just follow what our predecessors did. I think they really lived in a different time when the technologies and the questions around us were so different. I think it's a particularly exciting time to do more rigorous, mathematically grounded work that tries to begin to understand and predict and design increasingly complex systems. We don't know how that's going to happen in the next decade or two. I think that's up to us. Yeah.